What's up guys, Jacob here with ZZ Diesel. Got a cool product spotlight video for you guys today. This is gonna be our SMB intercooler pipe fix. Uh, this part number is particularly the 83-1001. Uh, that is for your 2017 through 2023 uh, Ford Power Stroke 6.7 liter diesel trucks. Uh, these uh, factory intercooler pipes are notorious for blowing. They're a rubber pipe. Uh, that just cracks in time. And I'm actually gonna show you on this uh, 2019 behind me exactly what that looks like and maybe what you guys have been hearing. So I know you've probably been driving your vehicle down the road, you're on your 6.7 power stroke, you've heard a, a pop or a hissing sound, something of that nature from underneath the hood. A uh, common issue with that is gonna be this here intercooler pipe uh, on the cold side. Uh, as you can see on this particular one right here, there's an actual split. Um, it's not completely shot yet. Obviously, I was, this vehicle actually was not pulling a trailer when this happened. I just noticed a, a hissing sound from under the hood. And what it was is it obviously got a, a boost pressure leak coming from this area of the vehicle. Uh, the problem is if you guys are towing a trailer or anything like that, it's actually going to cause a loss of power or you might leave you just pretty close to stranded on the side of the road uh, due to no power uh, for the most part. So I would uh, definitely recommend upgrading this pipe replacing it with the SMB intercooler upgrade pipe and uh, taking care of this issue with the aluminum piece that doesn't allow this to ever happen again, along with their silicone coupler. So first things first, you're going to uh, disconnect your connector uh, that goes to your sensor here. Um, you're gonna have a little uh, plastic piece here that just holds everything into place. Use your body tool if you guys got one. Seven millimeter and a long extension so you can get down to the clamp way down here for the intercooler. I'm gonna take that loose. So we've got that clamp loose down at the intercooler. So it's fairly simple to get the sensor out. You just take a little pocket screwdriver. You can take this little tab here on the sensor, pick up on it just a little bit on the end, twist it, and pull it right out. Um, obviously, this one's getting pretty dirty from what you can see there. It doesn't hurt. You, always, you guys can always use some electronic cleaner uh, or electrical cleaner that you can get at a local uh, automotive store, spray it down, and just clean that up uh, before you put it back in. Lastly, you're going to pop the clip out that's right here. You can use your pocket screwdriver again or a small screwdriver. Um, unfortunately, this one's actually in kind of upside down in my opinion, but I think that's how they all come from the factory. Um, so you'll pop that loose. And then uh, as long as you've got it spread, you should actually just be able to take this, wiggle it, and pop your intercooler pipe right off from that end. Uh, you're loose on the other end. Wiggle it back and forth and get it off down at the intercooler and you can remove your factory rubber intercooler pipe one thing to note is when you're undoing that clip like we showed you under the hood just be careful don't lose that clip because you do reuse it um, some guys get carried away <laughs> accidentally they take their, their pocket screwdriver they flick it it ends up in the engine bay and they can't find it then you're going to have to reorder this clip uh, but what you want to do is once you have that saved you're just going to drop it in the place Put it on here like so, and you're back into place. The next thing you're going to do is take the green O-ring. Um, I always use Schaefer's 219 like you'll see in a lot of videos. I just get a little bit on my finger. Put a little bit on the O-ring just to help with that thing going in. This does not need to be no crazy thick coat. You're going to notice that you won't even hardly see that I have that on that O-ring. And then in the back side of your pipe, there's going to be an o-ring groove down in there and what you're going to want to do is take that uh, o-ring there place it down in that groove and make sure it's seated and voila like i said you can barely tell that there's any grease down in there it's just a slick film so that this thing will pop right on lastly um, as i was mentioning you had your electronic cleaner. I sprayed this one off already. We use CRC here. We get it at a local O'Reilly Auto Parts. Nothing crazy for that. It's just electronic cleaner. I cleaned up the, the sensor there. You're just going to take it, pop it back down in there, and clip it over into place. You'll hear it clip. Simple as that. Lastly, it's obviously just your clamps. You're gonna have one, one clamp that's just a hair, hair bit smaller, as you can see here. Your smaller clamp's gonna go on the bottom side. Larger clamp gonna go up here on the top side. And we're gonna put this thing, as you see, in the vehicle. Fix this issue as you see where the cracks happen. 
you guys might have a big one, you might have a blown out spot, you might be stranded on the side of the road. This is the fix that you guys want so that you don't run into this problem of loss of power or hissing sound coming underneath the hood. So I situated my clamps, as you see here, with uh, my threads on uh, the right side at the bottom and the left side at the top. Reason being, once you get this thing down in there, it's gonna be a little bit easier uh, to get, either get your electric ratchet or your ratchet wrench or ratchet, whatever you're using down in there to actually tighten everything up. Okay. Lastly, uh, now that I got the, the hose down in there, which only took a couple seconds, obviously, uh, is to get your uh, aluminum piece of pipe where the notorious crack comes from, flipped into place and into your intercooler boot right here as you installed it a few seconds ago. And get everything. I did not tighten anything up, by the way. I have everything loose still. Um, and you're just going to take that. And these can be extremely tight sometimes, just so you guys know. Um, so you'll want to get that shoved on there. You're going to hear it clip into place, as you just seen. Everything, like I said, is still loose. So I'm going to make my minor tweaks and adjustments here and get uh, everything in place where I want it so that nothing is rubbing or going to cause issues down the road. Lastly, once I have everything tightened up, you're going to take your sensor that we had. Go ahead and uh, clip it on there. And it's as easy as that. They do provide some zip ties if you want to zip tie things together uh, up here. You don't have to. It's kind of solely up to you. Uh, in my case, I, I might put a, a couple right here, but that'll be about it. And that's all there is to it. All right, guys. So as you can see behind me here, we've got our uh, SMB intercooler pipe upgrade installed on this 2019 F-250. Uh, it says a great upgrade for you guys. You can find it on our website, ZZDiesel.com, along with many other upgraded pipes uh from smb as well as some others that we offer to get your intercooler pipe fixed on your power stroke trucks from uh, 2011 all the way to 2023 this is a notorious issue for you guys give us a call if you got any questions our number is 800-749-0688